Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to another Moulage Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make monkey pox. You'll need some petroleum jelly, paint brushes, makeup sponges, syringe in a cup, liquid latex, pocket nurse pus, Ben Nye monster wheel and bruise wheel palettes, tan cake makeup, some scissors and tweezers, and some applicators. I'm going to start off first with a clean hand. I'm going to take my liquid latex and just pour a little out. Then I'm going to take a makeup sponge and dab a thin layer on my hand. And after that, I'm going to let it dry before applying the next layer. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to go ahead and make my pus and put it in my syringe. So I'm going to take my pocket nurse pus and get a little spatula, get some up, place it in the cup. Because I don't have a lot of this item, I'm also going to mix it with a little petroleum jelly. This will also help make it a little bit thicker. Looks like the latex is dry and it is time to apply my next layer. So I'm going to go ahead and dab that on and continue making my pus while I'm waiting for this to dry. Taking my Master Bruise Wheel from Ben Nye and getting up a little of this green on my spatty and I'm going to put this in the petroleum jelly. This will help add a little bit more color and um, I'm going to be adding some yellow in there as well to give it a good infected look. All right, it looks like my second layer is dry and I'm gonna take a, another good amount of this liquid latex on my makeup sponge and add a third layer. Once again, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna keep messing with my pus that I've made. I'm going to take some up on my spatula and use my spatty to stick this inside my syringe. Now that my third layer is dry, I'm going to apply a fourth layer. Alright, now that that layer is dry, I'm going to be taking um, some pretty dull scissors that I like to use for this liquid latex. Um, and I'm just been cutting a little hole. I'm also using, as you see, at the end of my cotton tip applicator to kind of help me raise up the latex a little bit more. And I'm just going to tug it to give myself a, a little air pocket and this will allow me to put in the pus that I've made. All right, now I'm about to put in my pus, but as you see, the hole is a little too small, so I'm gonna be use that end of the cotton tip applicator, kind of move it around to make that hole a little bit bigger for my syringe. And then I'm just going to inject a little of that pus that I've made.
Once I do that, I'm going to take my tissue and dab off any excess that is leaking out of the liquid latex. Now I'm using my cotton tip applicator and slowly rolling it along the air pockets that I've made with the pus. And this will help make the air pockets a little bit smaller and a little bit more rounded. And this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to be taking a little liquid latex on my cotton tip applicator and I'm just going to be covering up some of those holes that I've just opened to apply the pus. After that, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Alright, now that that layer is dry, I'm taking a little bit more pus and I've also added a little plastic cannula on my syringe. This just makes um, application a little bit easier, so I've learned. Um, and as I'm doing that, I'm also wiping off a little excess that I have. After I add a little bit more pus in to make it a little bit more rounded, I'm going to be dabbing some more liquid latex over the pustules to hold in that pus. Now that that last latex layer is dry, I'm going to be taking my cotton tip applicator again and slowly rolling it to kind of make my pustules more rounded and small. Now I'm going to be taking some tan foundation I found at the store and just using it to kind of cover up the shininess the latex made. And then after that, I'm also going to be using the Pocket Nurse Tan Cake Makeup to blend in with that color just to color match it to my skin.
Now I'm going to be taking my red from my Ben Nye Master Bruise Wool Palette and I'm going to be making a ring of irritated skin around the pustules. I'm also going to be using my paintbrush to apply this and the good thing about this is I can also use this paintbrush to smudge it out a little so it looks like the irritation is kind of flush with the skin. Now that I'm done applying makeup, I'm going to take mineral oil, and I love to use mineral oil because it feels like the makeup can be really dry on my skin, and this kind of helps me soften it up a little, and it also gives me a chance to blend in the colors a little bit more. Alright, and I'm done. What do you think? Alright, I hope you enjoyed this Moulage Monday video and go ahead and click that subscribe if you did so you can see my weekly updates. Hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.